Welcome back to the Papa Bay Show. This episode is part of the series entitled Optimizing Beyblade Combos. Let's continue. This video is the fourth of a multi part series entitled Optimizing Beyblade Combos. What the stars on discs mean? Takara Tomy disc can either have four stars, one, two, three, four. Three stars, one, two, three. Two stars, one, two. Or just one star. As you can see, each star is indented into the bottom of the disc. Right there. Technically speaking, having no stars would mean the most weight because the disc will have more mass by having less indentions or holes. One hypothesis is that if there's a double burst finish in a mirror match using the same disc, the stars would help you identify which one is yours. Last September 10, 2019, Master Blader Akira Horikawa made an official statement about this topic, which I'll place in the comment section of this video. In a nutshell, a disk's center of gravity depends on its number of stars and their location. This zero disc has four stars, which means all four quadrants, one, two, three, four, are balanced. Hence, the whole disc is balanced. This one has three stars, which means these three quadrants, one, two, three, are balanced, except this quadrant. This disc has two stars, which means only these two quadrants, one, two, are balanced. This whole half is unbalanced. This one has only one star, which means only this quadrant is balanced. Generally speaking, a balanced disc will have more spin time. This is ideal for defense stamina hybrid combos. On the other hand, an unbalanced disc will have less spin time but more attack power. This is ideal for attack type combos. In my experience, 4 star discs doesn't always have the heaviest weight. For example, take these 210 discs. This one is a 4 star disc. As compared with a 3 star disc. Now let's do the same for these two outer discs. This one is a 4 star disc. as compared with a 3 star disc. In these two cases, the 3 star discs 
are heavier than their four-star counterparts. For Papa Bay's takeaway, use a one-star disc for layers with three attack points like Slash. For this one-star disc, put the quadrant with one star in this position. This way, the other three quadrants will line up with the three attack points, thereby increasing its attack power. Use a two-star disc for layers with two attack points like Judgment. For this two-star disc, Put the half with no stars in line with the burst resistor. Like that. However, this two star disc has one of its stars located here instead of here, which is the ideal position. Anyhow, if you have a two star disc with stars located here and here, please let me know in the comment section. Use a 3-star disc for layers with one attack point like Prime Apocalypse. For this 3-star disc, put the quadrant with no star in line with its contact point for more attack power. This also works for judgment. This side with the burst resistor is heavier than the other side. For this 3 star disc, put the quadrant with no star in line with its burst resistor for more attack power. Use a 4 star disc for layers with 2 attack points like Zwei and Imperial. Or for layers that are defense stamina hybrids like Perfect Phoenix, Lord, and Master. For this 4 star disc, it will evenly distribute attack power to its 2 contact points. Same goes for Zwei. It will also increase the stamina of Perfect Phoenix, Lord, and Master combos. It will give both types an advantage in a mirror match. Note that when talking about balance and center of gravity, it only applies to the disc itself. You still have to take into account how it balances with the rest of your combo. Particularly the layer, frame, and driver. This is where balance tuning comes into play. Lastly, please note that all this talk of number of stars, center of gravity, and balance plays a very minor impact in general. However, for competitive bladers, you'll take every little bit of advantage, right? That's it for now, guys! Tune in again next time, same Papa Bay time, same Papa Bay channel. In my next video, does balance tuning your combo actually work? Watch out for the next exciting episode of The Papa Bay Show.